Sisters, it is Sunday night on the best gospel, the best praise talk show, the TMA radio show. Tonight we just got weather music, community information on your church news. So we want you to tune in and enjoy tonight's broadcast. We got weather coming up shortly, so we want you to stay tuned and we'll be right back. He did it all for me. Oh, I got a praise his name.
Showers high of 69 with a low of 53. Tuesday high of 82 with a low of 59. Wednesday high of 87 with a low of 62. Thursday high of 89 degrees with a low of 66. Friday partly cloudy high of 80, 89 with a low of 66. Saturday partly cloudy high of 86 with a low of 65. And Sunday partly cloudy skies high of 84 with a low of 64 degrees and that's your seven day forecast
just wanna thank you. I thank you. Thank you, Jesus. I could never repay you. I could never give it back to you, God. I know, I know. Had you not poured out your blessings on me. about a thing God got everything amen all you have to do is just shout hallelujah and give him praise and know without a shadow of doubt that he's worked that situation out without a shadow of doubt he's gonna come through for you without a shadow of a doubt 
He's going to make a way out of no way. You just have to believe in your heart. Amen. And just give him praise until your breakthrough come. Because sometimes it don't come when we want it to come. But guess what? It comes right on time. And we ought to shout hallelujah because God gave us a promise that he will never leave nor forsake us. And that's the God that we serve that's always thinking about our interests. Amen. Our best interests at heart. And we love him tonight. We love him tonight. Amen. Amen. Real quickly, church news tonight for all my listeners locally and those in surrounding areas of Lewis, Lewisburg, Wake Forest, Raleigh, Durham, Wendell, uh, Charlotte, Greensboro, and all the other surrounding areas. The church news, we have June the 12th, 2016 at 11 o'clock, Hickory Grove Baptist Church Youth Day Service. You need to bring all your youth out to Youth Day Service at 11 o'clock. At Hickory Grove Baptist Church, you can Google it. Bring your young people out and let us lift up the name of Jesus together. And the guest speaker will be that of Reverend Nino Ackridge. And so come out at 11 o'clock, Hickory Grove Baptist Church. Also, June the 19th, 2016 at 11 o'clock, Alert Pentecostal Holiness Church will be having their Father's Day service. And the guest speaker will be Reverend Nino Ackridge. And that is at 11 o'clock. So come on and let's be in the place that we can hear from God and let us enjoy Jesus together and let us praise him for what he's going to do and how he's going to show out and how God's going to touch somebody's life. Amen. We just going to go with an expectation that God is going to give a word. Amen. To a people that they receive the word and that change come about in their life if they're dealing with something or just to inspire the ones that are fine that they can continue to press on, keep marching, keep moving. Amen. And fighting a good fight and letting people know that, you know, without a shadow of doubt, God is on my side. Hallelujah. And Sunday, third Sunday, our power with the word. Evangelist Linda Ellis will be giving the word of God 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can tune in by phone and call the number is 218-548-2848 and code is 81056. Third Sunday Hour Power with the Words brought to you by the TMA Radio Show and the Circle of Love Prayer Partners. So every third Sunday at 7 o'clock evening service, we have different preachers in and we know that it's been blessing people with the word. There's so many people that can't get out, whether they sick, whether they're elderly, and we're bringing the word to them through radio and phone and we're just praising God for what he's doing Amen on the radio show and also with the prayer partners. Amen. We so happy to have the right prayer partners. Those that are gonna pray, they don't care about telling nobody what you got going on, but going to God about your situation. And we thank God for that. <clears throat> also, excuse me, Cutting Word Ministries. Church meeting service June the fourth at three PM Lewisburg Chapel. All are welcome to come out. Amen. And let's help one another. And if we can't make all of them, don't don't miss all of them. But pray that that God will be done. Again, Cutting Word Ministries, they're having a church meeting service June the 4th at 3 p.m. at Lewisburg Chapel. That's on the Lewisburg College campus. And all are welcome to come. And we're going to continue the radio broadcast. And we love you. And we'll be right back with more. When I'm done, the very best I can.
A miracle man. He will give you miracles. He will show you miracles in your life. Amen. I, t I know he'll do it. I know he'll do it because sometimes when you come up with some things that you come against 
and you know that it won't nobody but God, nobody else could help you, no mother, no daddy, no sister or brother, no wife, no husband, amen, nobody in the community, amen, the only person that was able to come through and perform that miracle was God, not the doctors, but God, and we give him praise and honor for what he does, amen, for us, amen, because he loves us, hallelujah. Amen. We will read some scriptures tonight for you, but so many of you, amen, want to know about prosperity, want things out of life, want your finances to grow, you want to build, and your finances are not there, or not only that, but there are some folk out there that believe that some prophets are, re are false. There are some false prophets, but just what? If somebody prophesies something to your life, amen, then you have to be on a good receiving end of it. That means that if the prophet prophesied amen if you live crazy then you ain't gonna get it and, and not 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 until you straighten your act up not until you do what the lord say but there were some people you know they want to get a they get a receive a, a blessed word but they want to live crazy live like they want to live do what they want to do and 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 unpleasing things towards god and they not getting it they say oh he didn't get it well hey you might you might have backbited somebody you might have told allow somebody you might have tried to set somebody up you might have slept around with somebody you know who want your husband want your wife you might have been just doing evil things and therefore you ain't gonna get it yet you got to tighten up you got to tighten up but there's some that hey, amen that are doing what they need to do and want to know what it is to get a financial blessing or a breakthrough or whatever your desire. Let's look at what the word of God said tonight in Romans 8 and 28. And the word is true. It says, and we know that all things work together for the good to them that love God. You first got to love God. You can't sit out here and think you can't love God and get all these things. Because guess what? The devil is giving things away too. He dressed up like he the light of the like an angel of the light and he not but therefore it says here that and we know that all things work together for good for good now to them that love god to them who are the called according to his purpose it is god's purpose for us to spread the gospel it is his purpose he called us amen to ministry he called us to be leaders amen to preach the, and teach the gospel to a dying nation to those that has given up it is us that encourage them that they can make it and jesus make the way hallelujah and John 15 and 7, if ye abide in me, God is saying, if you abide in me and my words abide in you, I got to live something. I can't just say something. I got to live it. I got the same way I am at church. The same way I'm at home is the same way I ought to be in the community. I can't just go to church and dress and look like I'm church and then go home and cuss my wife and cuss my son and act like the devil and do things in the community and hide and dip and dive. No, I have to first, if ye abide in me and my words abide in you, ye shall what? Ask what ye will. God is telling us we can have anything we want, but if my word amen abide in you and you abide in me you can ask anything amen and look at this it shall be done unto you hallelujah god word is true hallelujah and john 15 and 8 herein is my father glorified that ye bear much fruit see they want God want us to be blessed. That's why he sent his son to show us an example of how we should treat people, how we should love people, and what we should be doing, amen, in this world that we're living in. And what has happened is the church has stopped doing what we need to do because we allow these things to happen. God ain't pleased with the world. Yes, individually we bless. Individual ministries are blessed. But what about the world? What about us as a as a whole nation? I mean, you know, we ought to be concerned about the nation, about the people that are straying off. We ought to be concerned about the people that are that are falling far, far away from God. Amen. That we want to draw them in. They like sheep in the past that they gone way off. And we want to find them and bring them back. That they get clarity and understanding that the scales on their eyes fall off and that we keep them lifted, amen, until they can walk on their own, until they can move on their own, until they can gather strength that they can endure until the end. 
Herein is my Father glorified, that ye may bear much fruit, and ye and so ye shall, so shall ye be my disciples. God wants us to be blessed, Amen. So ye shall be my disciples, and we under His umbrella, we under His branch, His branches, Amen. We're gonna be blessed. Amen. We lift Jesus up. Amen. If I be lifted up, I will draw all men under thee. Amen. And uh, what's happening in a lot of churches is not lifting up the name of Jesus. We're going with a dead spirit and nobody wanna, can get healed. Somebody coming in, they don't feel nothing in the atmosphere. They can't feel the anointing because everything is traditionalized. Everything is on the clock. Everything is programmed to the T and nobody can come in and shake that thing off because everything is just dry like dust. It's settled, not moving, but it's clouding up. It makes things unpretty. But when you lift up the name of Jesus, hallelujah, somebody coming in broken and and, dis, and barred down and, and chained and, and, and confused and upset. And don't know how to release it. But they get that spirit because it's moving around the ministry. Moving through people, amen, that's praising him from breast to breast, amen. And that person coming in off the street can get a whiff of it, amen. And change become because when the word come, amen, he'll be able to receive it. Hallelujah. Jeremiah 29 11 says, For I thought, for I know the thoughts. Listen now. For I know the thoughts. That I think towards you, says the Lord. I know my own thoughts. I think towards you, says the Lord. Thoughts of peace. I have thoughts that it should be peace in your life. God don't want us, amen, to have killings and murders and rapes and abuse in this land that we're living in so wicked. They've turned away from God. That's why we in the predicament. That's why we see it on the news. That's why we see it in our community. Because people have turned away from God and, and, and taken on the lust of the enemy and the demonic spirits. And they're doing all this crazy stuff. But the Lord here is telling us that, For I know the thoughts that I, have, I, that I think towards you, said the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected in God is saying I want to give you a future and a hope and and what God gives us is Jesus he's the hope because Jesus go to intercede for us he's praying to the father on our behalf amen that we could have a right to the kingdom of heaven and you got to know that, you know, you know, a lot of people got to understand that, yes, Jesus died on Calvary Cross. Yes, he died for our sins, for the remission of our sins. But we just can't live like hell and think that we're going to make it. We got to do some stuff. We got to abide by the commandments. We got to live according to his will and not our will. We got to do the things that pleases God. We owe God everything. For the Bible tells me if I had 10,000 tongues, I couldn't praise him enough. So that, so therefore, why sit on God? Why sit on God? You read about God every Sunday, in Sunday school, at home, and you go with a like a not on the law. But if if a president of the United States came to your ministry, all oh, the happy and excitement, you would be overjoyed if President Obama came to your ministry. All oh, the first black president come to to our ministry. Oh, it was just so wonderful. You talk about it. And, oh, your grandbaby at the ball game. You you can't stop hollering. Your 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 daughter cheerleading. Oh, and your your son just graduated, and you're so excited. But then you go sit on God like He ain't did nothing for you. It's time to get out of that state. Everybody, you know, they got this old saying that everybody praise God different. And that is so true. But there ought to be some action or something in you that know that God is, is on you and on your side. You got to understand that God is in your life. There's so many people don't do nothing, never have an emotion, never have a praise, never can raise their hand, never can clap to a song. They're sitting there just like a, like a ro robot that's turned off. And, and I'm going to tell you right now. The devil got them twisted up thinking that, oh, everybody praise God different. Praise is a form of action. You got to, it's an action. Amen. It's showing movement. When we praising God, it's expression to him that we know that he woke us up this morning. He started us on our way. God, God blessed us, amen, with a good bill of health. God turned that situation around at the job for you. And we lift up our hands and say, God, I thank you now. Sometimes we might cry. 
when the spirit get on you, sometimes you might shake your leg. But you ought to have something. There might be some people over there on the left side shaking their head, praising God that somebody on the across the across the pew from you might be shouting. There might be somebody that laid out on the floor. But there, somebody got the spirit of God. But you sit there every Sunday like it ain't nothing going on in your life. Somebody coming in out the street and say, what in the world going on? And they don't feel nothing but dryness, deadness, the atmosphere, the flat, it, it flat air. We ought to be excited in the house of God. We ought to be excited because he allowed us to get there safely. He allowed somebody to be saved and, and set free. That's why we praising God because somebody was just a step away from hell. We all was. But because of his goodness and mercy, because of his grace, amen, because of what Jesus did on Calvary, the example he did, he took the cup, amen, because it was the Father's will. Hallelujah. That's the scripture for somebody tonight. You need to want to know how you get blessed. It's simple. Everything worked the good that, that love God. If you love God, things going to work fine for you. And you sitting around here and ain't no God nowhere. It's so much trouble. It's so much stress. It seems like you just can't never get, get up off the ground. And people every month got something going on. Now, granted, we all go through stuff. I go through things. I go through some struggles in life. But I know not to give up because it ain't a time now to give up. If it's ever a time to fight, it's time now. It's time to put your dukes up to the devil and tell the devil enough is enough. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. And then you got to get on your knees sometime when you really need something. Say, God, I pray in the name of Jesus that my finances be increased. And if tell you what, if you sow, amen, if you sowing, if you sowing in the good ground, you're going to reap the harvest. You're going to reap something good. You're going to reap good. But you over there sowing in, in, a, in a demon and a devil. You over there sowing in somebody that's on drugs. You over there sowing in somebody that's lusting over women. You over there sowing in somebody that's talking out the side of their lip. And look, you ain't getting nothing, you ain't getting no good return. Because the ground is, is corrupt. The ground is polluted. You got to see somebody that's an outstanding person. They, they, they talk their whole demeanor. You know there's something different about them. You might not can catch it because you ain't there yet. But you sowed into a person's life like that. You receive something good back. It might not be money, but it'd be good health or good report or elevation on the job. Or a sec or another chance to get it right with God. You got to start sowing in the better ground. Whatever measure. Whatever measure we sow. The measure, same measure return back. And if you over here cutting me down, you ain't doing that but digging a own, your ditch for yourself. If you, you cutting your sister and brother down... You ain't doing that but digging a hole for yourself. You got to understand that everything we do, we, we get it back. And guess what? You might not get it back. Sometimes you might not get it back. Your children might get it back. So we got to be careful. This thing is so serious, you don't even know. It affect not only you, but it affect your, your generations. You 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 a you bad mouth on the preachers. War unto them. You can't put your mouth on the men and women of God. If anything that you don't agree with, you better be praying, God, I don't understand my pastor. I don't understand. I don't understand. And then when you go to him or her, you need to have some respect and some humbleness and, and, and let them explain things to you because you don't see everything we see. Sometimes God give us stuff that he ain't related to you because you can't handle it or you can't process it right. That, that's a word for somebody. I ain't even mean to talk all that, but somebody might need to listen to that because you got to understand that, 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 that's, that you may not be in authority. But those that are in authority, we are held accountable. We are held accountable whether we do what's right. And if we do what's wrong, the Bible tells us, woe unto them that lead, that allow my sheep to stray. So if I'm leading people astray to do wrong and wicked or to be turned off and, and, and they don't want to come back, they don't want to have nothing to do with ministry and, and that I got to I got to pay for that. Preachers got to pay for that. So therefore, we teaching you what the words say, and 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 what's going to work to get America and all of this stuff that we see in the news, the LBG, whatever the that name is. You know, we so concerned with that, but we got people around here. We got men cheating on their wives. We got people 
sleeping around with each other. We got so much, all in the same bucket. All we have to do is teach and preach the word. And, and, and the word shall convict. If we start teaching and preaching some hard word, preaching the truth, people will see themselves. But if you ain't preaching nothing but prosperity and, and, and 20 people going to get houses and cars and the, and the same 20 people leave out and go to the club and they go to church and they sing in the choir and do all this stuff and they robot, they do the same thing every time. They, they get used to it and, and, and don't, it, don't, it don't profit them nothing. And I'm telling you right now, we got to do better. We got to do better. All things work together for good to them that love the Lord. To love God. Amen. Amen. We're going to continue the best broadcast it is in America, the Tim A. Radio Show. SOS, I need you daily. Yeah. Can't lie, say the pain don't phase me. My God, who gon' help these babies? I've been in the fire so long, I can't get burned no more. I thought you was putting out the flame, but it was rain from the storm. That's all on my head, thinking me stressed all day long. They won't let me rest, it's on my chest. I ain't that strong. I need a lifeline right now. 911 won't do. My back's against the wall now. Done all that I could do. I prayed every prayer, went to every service like I know how. Just a ship without a sail. I'm lost without your But it ain't about my will, it's all about what you want. Your family used to be first, things getting worse in my home. My brother is hurt, we need a word, it's too far gone. I need a lifeline right now, 911 won't do. My back's against the wall now, done all that I could do. I prayed every prayer, went to every service like I know how. Just a ship without a sail, I'm lost without you. All in his chest now My daughter's having these nightmares I might be wrong but I'm right here, yeah I'm trying to hold on when my hands hurt Or the ropes out Cause when life fights, it don't fight fair So I'm leaning all on these ropes now And I got hope, but it's slow now So I'm leaning all on these quotes now Like never leave me, won't forsake me If you don't help me, I don't make it
Hey man, I need your help. I want to just send uh, prayers up to Ginger A. Baker, husband, uh, family for their loss of loved one. And I dedicate this next song to them because God is a sovereign God and he's able to heal every wounded heart. He's able to dry every tear. He's able to comfort each and every one of us. Amen. And we're praying that all of you be encouraged and know that God knows best and, and he makes no mistakes. And we just have to trust him. And I pray his love and compassion and that he comfort and strengthen you through your time, through your time of loss. This next song dedicated to you. I want you to listen to it as, as it ministered to you and know that God is always there for you. There aren't even words to describe just how great you are in all your majesty. You continually provide for me. There just isn't anything that you can't do. Lord, I've seen Trust you all the more because you are you are the sovereign God the sovereign God and you're bigger than all bigger than all my problems every and every situation there is, there is nothing, nothing too hard for the sovereign So I will put every situation into your capable hands. I don't have to know the plan because you are. You are the There is, there is, there is nothing to 
You're listening to the TMA Radio Show Sunday Night. Having church meeting service June the 4th at 3 p.m. Lewisburg Chapel. All are welcome to come. Third Sunday, our power with the word will be having services, amen. Every third Sunday, Evangelist Linda Ellis will be giving the word of God starting at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can tune in by telephone 218 548 2848, and the code is 81056. And you also can listen in live on the TMA Radio Show. Every third Sunday we have a word service, amen, starting at 7 p.m. Different preachers, amen, delivering the word of God that it inspire people, that it trans- transformation in their way, in their in their finances, in their life, in their spiritualness, amen, that they receive a word from God. We will have our very own, she's our Circle of Love prayer partner, founder, and we just thanking God to give her a word, and we go with an expectation. Also, June the 19th, 2016, at 11 o'clock, Alert Pentecostal Holiness Church. If you're in the area, Father's Day service, guest speaker, Reverend Nino Ackridge, and also on June the 12th, 2016, at 11 o'clock a.m., Hickory Grove Baptist Church, Youth Day service. Guest speaker will be Reverend Nino Ackridge. Bring out your youth at, seven, at uh, 11 o'clock. Amen on the 12th that we praise God together. That's church news tonight. That's the Sunday night show tonight. We pray something said, something heard. Bless your spirit. Let us keep praying for those that are bereaving and those that uh, especially also want to pray for the Jones family. We lost one of our church members, a brother Jones, a, a trustee and brother that we all know and been knowing for a while. Uh, brother passed away, and his funeral will be that Tuesday at, uh, Tuesday at Nelson Chapel Baptist Church. So we're praying for them daughters and that son, that God comfort them in their time of loss. Amen. We know not the hour, the second or the minute, that God call us. And we want to be ready. We want to be ready. And it's our heart desire that the community, those we see, that are, that are not in God, that they go to him and that we keep praying for one for another and nobody be left out. Meet us here tomorrow night. We'll be here tomorrow night broadcasting between 7 and 8 p.m. 
Invite somebody in listening on the broadcast. And also for those preachers, amen. If you have a word for in your ministry that you want to get your ministry out there and you want to share a word and have your show, amen. Email ministeraccuracyshow at gmail.com for airtime. Amen. I already have a lot of listeners that tune in all across the world. And so we want you to be a part of the show. Amen. So so email me at ministeraccuracyshow at gmail.com for airtime. And that way we can get you, get you out there, get you on the show. You can give, give a word to the people and also church events that you have going on. Amen. And we're going to continue the broadcast. This last song, amen, to all my listeners. Tamala Man, Best Days on the Tim A Radio Show. He told me that I was chosen, predestined me. 